Good morning or good afternoon. It's Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is your first time joining me on YouTube, welcome. I'm so glad that you have found me. But um, also make sure that um, if you have not subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe. Hit the bell below and you'll get notified immediately as soon as I go live or you'll get notified when I upload a new video. So today... It, it's Monday, February the 21st here in the um, Northern Hemisphere. Um, well, part of the Northern Hemisphere. But I'd like to um, extend a happy family day for those people that are in the provinces in Canada that celebrate happy um, uh, family day. Um, we don't celebrate happy family day on every single, um, the same date every time. And those for in Manitoba and Quebec, it's happy real day. And also for my friends down in the United States, it's happy president's day. So it's a holiday for almost everybody. So I feel like I'm working on a holiday, but I'm working doing what I love. So good morning. So today what I'm doing is I'm doing a masculine card. This one's got a few um, things that um, uh, it, it's going to be a little bit more detailed because there's lots of cutting and everything else. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. And I can't wait. Hello, Cassie. I can't wait until um, I do something else because I've got something that I'm going to do later on in the week for you. All right. So let's just pop on down to my desktop. We are using home and garden. Have you seen this stamp set or did or this bundle? Did you miss it in the JJ mini catalog? It is found actually on page 72 of the catalog. Now, the way the sentiments are, it all looks like it's towards masculine cards. And I am going to gear my card towards masculine card. We're kind of taking a little bit of what's already there. But you know what? I'm going to... Um, I'm going to have some fun with this and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks along the way as well. But if you got a guy in your life, this is a really good, especially if he's a handyman or something like that, this would be a really good stamp set. And I love these types of stamp sets. Now there's 14 dies. And when I, when I looked at this, I went, Oh man, what is some of that stuff? So I'm going to actually go through some of it. This one here, um, we're going to be using today, this top one here. And this is the rack that we're going to put our tools, on, our gardening tools on. These ones here, I went, oh, man, what did they look like? They look, to me, they look kind of like a bit like a jerry can, but it just didn't make any sense to me. But they're the things that you hook your garden um, things onto. Now we have a trawl. We have um, snippers. And we also have a shovel. And these parts here, this, this, and this, are to cut out where well, you could use silver foil. Um, but they're to cut out uh, so that it looks like metal on the end of um, the, the things here. There's also these two pieces of grass. And, of course, the ladder, the rake, and the shovel. And this one is actually for the, um, the gloves that are in the stamp set here. Now, the other thing is, is what is this? And it's funny because I looked at it and looked at it. And then finally, I figured it out. It's little tiny rocks. So I don't know if I'm going to play with that small of a detail of a die. I think I'll just use the pebble accents. But we'll see how it goes when I get to that part. The stamp sets are really kind of fun. They do co uh, coordinate with the dies. So we're going to go and... Just start stamping and doing our thing, right? So I've got all my bits and pieces here and we'll see. I think what we'll do is stamp and cut out and then we can assemble the card. So I have, I do, I am going to go soft seconded on the base of uh, for the card base. And that happens to be five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I'm using my evening evergreen as a piece there. And then I'm using this. Um, designer series paper. Now, don't forget about this designer series paper. This is the um, In Good Taste designer series paper. It got carried over twice in our annual catalog, or maybe it got carried over from a mini to that, but it's on page 132. Now, you get in here, you get 24 sheets of 12 by 12. Yeah, as Judy says, it's 
it's great for those cards of anybody that likes to garden. But like I say, today we're doing masculine cards this week, so I'm going to gear it that way. I think, yeah, I think we could have a lot of fun with certain parts of this, that's for sure, and make it into a female gardening card as well. But this paper here, don't forget about this paper pack. It's 24 sheets. Who knows if it's going to retire? We have no idea if it's going to retire at all. But it is a good deal. All right. So let's get going on this card. So I've got the, those pieces. And I'll, I'll just put those off to the side. And then we'll work on the different pieces that we have. I have some crumb cake here. I've got some foil here because we're going to actually do the shovels and we're going to do a lot of different things, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks along the way. All right. One of the things with this, these dies is I originally thought for the ones that are going to be the middle, like the shovel, I thought, oh, it would be best if you stamp first. Unless you're using stays on, it tends to rub off. But guess what? It's detailed enough on these things here that it looks okay without it. So I'm actually just going to go in and I'm going to cut those three pieces. And we're just going to cut that with our foil. Now I'm going to give you a couple of tips along the way, like I said. So I've got my mini cut and emboss thing. Now, do you ever get it where your um, foil gets those marks all over them right so I'm gonna I never thought of this until just now so well I thought of this but I didn't think of showing this to you I'm just going to actually just put those on there my foil is curling so I'm just going to take some post-it note tapes to stop it from curling but if you took uh, see what I mean Let's try that again. You know what? I'll put it over here. So we're just going to get those cut out. Now, the one way that you can stop any kind of um, stuff from um, marking up, because the marks come from your, your um, plates. So if you want, all you have to do is just put a piece of printer paper right across there. And cut it this way and that'll stop you from getting your um, um, getting all those crease marks on your um, foil sheets so we've got that part see how what I mean I'm just gonna put my post-it note tape up there but see how I've got it where I didn't mark up the rest of that paper so that's that's one tip for you today um, you know I'm just going to put these dies over here and there's a magnetic thing here so it'll hold my dies. Um, the one that has the most detail is um, the snips. So we're just going to put those off to one side. And then we're also going to say I'm doing a few different things today with this. Um, but it is a holiday, right? All right, so I'm actually going to do this out of soft suede. So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to move this just for a second. I am going to go in, and I have my soft suede stamp pad. And this piece has wood on it, wood grain sort of thing. But in order to make it so that it's more of a wood grain, you can go in and you can just put your die into your um, right into your ink pad. And I'm actually, I'm not going to rub it with my hand. I'm going to just rub it. So I don't want to get ink all over me. Ugh. And then I'm just going to take this up. And... I'm going to lay it onto here and we're going to cut that out as well. And that's just going to give a tiny bit more detail as if this card's not going to have enough detail as it is. All right, so I'm just going to put my... Why don't I move this one out of the way? So I'm, whoops. 
so much for that part. All right, so I'm just going to put this right onto my soft succulent. And I'm going to run that through. And with the piece that's soft succulent that I cut out before, I didn't do the, the um, ink on here. And I'll show you the two of them. And you can see which one that you like the best. Yeah, putting ink into a your die cut into the um, ink really makes more definition on there. So let me show you the two. There's this one. They're both the same size, right size up. This one has the ink on it, and this one doesn't. This just gives a bit more definition. Okay, so we've got that one cut. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut some of this grass, but I've already gone ahead and cut the grass, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's go and stamp our images, and then we can go ahead and cut them out. All right, so I need on my basic white, because we're gonna use our blends, I'm going to use Memento ink. And let's do some gloves. I love these gardening gloves. Just think of paper piecing this as well. So we'll take the troll or the little shovel that I can never seem to find. And then we're gonna take our our snips and then we're also going to take our shovel just like that and then let's take our rake So we've got those. Now I'm going to tell you something. This is something else that I always do is I go ahead and I take, um, I always um, cut my dies out first, then I color. And the reason being for that is after I've taken all the time to do that coloring and then I tend to not cut it out straight, it, it kind of annoys me. So um, that's the reason why I do that that way. Okay, I have my ladder. I'm going to take this piece of crumb cake, and I think I've got this wide enough that I can put this on here. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go in with, I think I can just, hmm, I don't think it'll matter if I go in and, yeah, I'll use my soft suede. The card that I was actually going to do today was, we'd be here all day. We truly would be. All right, so let me just go here. I'm just gonna put that right up there. Hopefully I can get that on there right. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut these pieces out. All right, like I say, I cut first, then I color and I just found that I just saved myself an awful lot of um, problems with um, the cutting out and everything. So we're almost finished cutting. We still need to cut this part out. So, all right. So let me go in with my shovel or my rake. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put my rake on there. And I am using my post-it note tape for all of this. And then let's see, we'll take a trowel. Um, let's see, it's all about attention to detail, right? But if you are doing a card, I always say spend that extra time to do something for it, right? You know what, that one's a little too close. So let me cut out the gloves and then I can cut out the other two pieces on the second go round. Because sometimes if you get your, your dies too close to the other dies, you end up cutting into the die. 
Let me just grab another piece of post-it note tape. Now, is this one going to sit there okay? I believe it is. All right, so let's just go in here. Whoops, see, that one wasn't quite right. I'll put that in with another piece of post-it note tape. Whoops, turn this around. There we go. All right, there's a rake. A little shovel. And then get those gloves. When they changed the way that they did their dyes, it's quite funny because I'm still used to doing the old dyes where you would have to go actually with a, um, um, a gap around. This way you just line them completely up with them. So let's just go just like that. And you know, I'm gonna come in with a bit more post-it note tape. And let's go put our snips down there. Now remember, I've already cut out my silver, so we're just actually just going to go ahead and put that right on top. All right. Let's go like that. Oops. Look at that shaking, eh? that now there's one other piece that we still have to do and that is this piece here of those i could put four but i'm only going to do three on this particular card Okay, and let's just hope that everything is going to all be in place, that I can find those. All right, I believe that is it for the cutting, except for the ladder. All right, so let's just take these off, because we're going to quickly color those as well. And my ladder, I went ahead and I did it in um, crumb cake. Let me just take this one off. All right. Now, I want this to be a 3D ladder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold that like that. I'm going to actually just go down and score that. And then we're going to put this like this. And then I'm going to come in with my ladder. I've almost used everything except for those little pebbles. It's kind of neat when you can use that many dies in your card. All right. So I'm just going to actually go ahead and put that there. Whoops. That didn't help. Do that again. Let's see. There we go. There. And I'm going to come in with another piece. Let's just put that onto this side. Now, to, in order to get it as a 3D, what I'm doing is I'm just taking, and I'm going to move this up a bit. Sorry, that kind of went off screen. Um, I'm going to just put this like this. And then I'm going to only take my die, my die or my plate up to the edge. I'm not going to cut that final piece. 
So I'm just going to run that through. Whoops. I'm just going to move that just a tad. I want it to be there. There we go. I don't want it cutting that piece because I want it to be a folded la I want it to be like a step ladder, right? So, so then I can just run that straight through if I've lined it up that way. All right, let's put this, get this out of the way. And now we have all our bits and pieces, right? So. Now, all I'm gonna do is just go in here. This is just an added touch that I just wanted to do. And see, now I've got a 3D ladder, right? All right. So we now have our pieces. And now we can kind of put our card together. So I have my evening evergreen is four by five and a quarter. So I can go ahead and put that on there now. Love these colors together. And I just thought this would be kind of nice to have on with this brick. Now to me, this brick seemed like it was a little white. So I'm just gonna come in with my blending brush and I'm going to come in with a crumb cake and I'm actually just going to just sponge that up a bit. Like I say I knew this one was going to be a long one so all right just taking some of that starkness off. There we go. Not a whole lot, but just a bit. Just like I say, when you add, put them side by side, you can you can see the difference. But all right, just like so. Now, when I go to put this ladder on, we're going to put this is the piece that's been done. When I go to put this part on, I'm gonna want the ladder piece to kind of hang off of there. When I do my shovel, it's gonna to have to go up like that. So I'm gonna to have to bring this down a bit. And then the same with the rake as well. All right, so about there. So right along that line there. And I'm not going to raise this part up. Um, I think there's gonna be a lot of dimension on this card as it is. Now, did I say there? Let me just double check. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there. All right, so now what we have to do is we've got to do some coloring here. Like I say, I've got, I can actually go ahead and glue this part on and then, um, then I just have to color the other part. Now, there's another way that you could have done this, um, but I think this works just as well. The other is a little bit of extra work. Hello. Yeah, the latter is going to be really cool. With this other card that I've got in mind, well, actually, I designed it before I did this one, and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool the way that it works as well. But I like that element and it just shows you think a little tiny bit outside of the box. You can make it work for you. Now, having issues picking this up. So we're going to just have our metal pieces on our, our tools. I think these are all gardening tools, really, because There's no other tools here, so. All right, 
So I have some blends and we're just going to do this fairly quickly. I am now what I kind of wanted to do. I don't know if they have them down in the States, but in Canada, men's glo gloves, there's some really, they're, they're deer hide gloves actually. And they've been stained a yellow uh, or they've been colored a yellow. So this is kind of what I'm kind of thinking that these gloves are going to be like is a little bit of that. Now I'm going to come in with some crumb cake because I want that to use crumb cake an awful lot with my blends. But um, I remember my dad had gloves like this. And he always had um, the ones that were made, the leather gloves made from deer hide. So okay. All right, there's our gloves done. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and put green handles on my, um, i put that there because I'm going to lose it. I've already lost a pair of gloves already. Awesome. Well, thanks for dropping on. It's, with it being a holiday everywhere in Canada, and then, of course, President's Day down in the States, we have, um, you know, there's, it's kind of neat. So I'm just, I'm going to have green handles on mine. Actually, I have a pair with green handles. Let's see, and then the rake doesn't isn't colored. It has um, it's just brown. I think my the rake part has green on it, but you know, I think we're okay. I'm just going to come in and get a bit of detail on this. And you know, I think I can. So I'm just going to whisk. There we go. And then some more silver on this part here. So we're, I'm just using the smoky slate. There we go. All right, I got everything. Now my ladder. Just going to, and what, I stamped this. I wish it was embossed on the ladder. Um, but I'm just going to actually just put a bit more accent and I'm using just a very, very light hand with this. All right. So I think we're ready to put, oh, no. Now also one other thing that we want to do on the inside is where I'm going to actually put my sentiment. So I'm actually coming in with, this is um, Sahara sand and I'm actually going to come in with my crumb cake and I'm using on the horizon, I'm using this piece right here. Um, I just want it to look like a sign. Oh. Okay, there we go. Just like that. And then I'm going to come in and put my happy birthday on there. And I was going to put that, and I think I'm going to have to put that in early espresso as well. You see lots of parts to this, let me tell you. Let's see, is this straight? I'm just going to put that like that. Okay, that's going to go on the inside. Now we can go ahead and put the card together.
gonna add a tiny little bit to the inside too. So, all right. All right, so now is the fun part. I'm going to get this ladder so that it doesn't quite, um, it keeps wanting to pop up a certain way. So I kind of just want to get it so that it kind of just goes down a bit. There we go. So the ladder is going to go about there. So I'm going to go in with my glue. I'm going to put one there, one little dot there, and one little dot about there, and one right in the middle. And then I'm going to come in with my I did have my tweezers out, didn't I? Well, I'll have to do it without. Um, so I'm just going to come in, and here are those things that are going to go here. The details are just unreal, and there's even embossing on these. There is a right and a wrong side. You know what? I use the ladder all the time too. I'm a ladder person. So I basically, yeah, I'm up and down a ladder. Ladders don't bother me at all. Uh -oh. I love certain tools as well. Okay. All right. So then this is just going to go like so. And put that right up about there. Just let me see. I want to put these up first. All right. So that goes about there. So I'm actually going to put these on with dimensionals. Here. And then let's just cut this dimensional along here. I don't, um, I do more um, container um, gardening. And the reason being for that is I have over 70 cedars around my house. And if anyone knows anything about cedars, they know that it just drains everything out from the rest of the plants. So I do a lot of container planting. All right, so this is just gonna go down here like so. And then let's go ahead and do the same with that. Okay, just like so. And, and then we'll put one right up there on there. And this is just going to see how it just sort of hooks onto there. And then my ladder is going to hook on here. Um, we're going to put it where it's hooking on a little bit higher. Because there's dimension to that, I'm going to come in with my glue and get the back part off. I actually have a ladder that I can go straight up and go right to the roof. It's one of the best investments that I made. All right, so we have that like that. We have um, some of those green bits. So I'm actually going to just put some of that green down here. You'll see that in just a second. Now, I am going to just have that kind of lying there and then this is where I'm going to put this part in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there. It's going to give a bit of, do I want those on the? Hmm, I think I'm just gonna put this here. Cut it down there. 
Yeah, I would love to plant a garden, let me tell you. All right, so this is going to go down here, but I'm going to put some of this green grass down here. And this is funny because I think this really kind of makes it a little bit too. So I'm just going to put some of that down, just like there. And I've got some more of this green grass. And I got a little piece of it. I guess say nothing like details, right? We'll put that right about there. And then, and see, I went and I lost my gloves again. There they are. All right. So one thing I wanted to do with these gloves was it used to be something that my dad used to do all the time was he used to hang his gloves over on the ladder. So I'm actually going to put that down like that. And we are going to, I'm just going to snip this across here. Yeah, I used to, he always used to say, where's my gloves? And I said, dad, they're on the ladder. Oh, yes, he'd say. So I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to glue that on there. Come to the back and glue that on there. There we go. It's going to go like that. And then we're going to put this guy. Just like it kind of, it's just sort of lying on the ground. So I think I'll pop it up too, just with the mini dimensional. Here, let me grab those off and I'll try it again. Just a little bit there. Now my other card is going to use a few other things that we've got. Okay, now I could have put that happy birthday across there, but the other words that are on this stamp set is to the man who can do anything. Hmm, I'm wondering. Hmm, I'm going to think about that one. Um, but anyways, I've got the sentiment on the inside. So now what I want to do is I'm going to come in. And you know, I think I can put that. No. All right. So I have in here, I have these pebbles. And I'm going to see if these will work. Yes, the little pieces do. For sure. Yes, Dottie. Yes. Or Dodie. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name there. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put some of these little pebbles on here as well. So we'll just put a rock in there. Rock right there. Oops, and then let's just take one there. There we go. All right. So that's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, it's not quite as detailed as what I was going to do. We would have been here all day if I had done that. So, but what a fun card. Like I say, even the way I've done this, it could be sent to um, somebody that is an avid gardener. I, I actually have in mind one person that this would look just great for. Um, but like I say, you've got it. Your ladder pops up gives a little bit more you could do um, it's your day or relax might be another one um, that you could put on there would be really good here relax enjoy your day you could put something like that but anyways I hope 
I hope you like that. It was fun to create and I hope I gave you some tips and tricks along the way. See, I didn't cut that out very good, but it's not too bad. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have um, a great um, holiday today. I, I think that um, it, it's going to be one of those days. I, I know I've gotten lots done. I started early this morning, so I, I'm good. I'm almost ready that I can do a little bit of binge watching. So, yes. so have a great day. Um, tomorrow, Judy will be back. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be this time or another time, but she will notify on my um, on my Facebook group, my Facebook page. Um, and if you have any requests at all for any of the other things that I'm doing, just, just pop me a personal message. Make sure you give me the thumbs up. Make sure you share the video. That really does help the algorithms for everything for um, both Judy's and my um, uh, Facebook pages and also our YouTube. So have a great day. Bye for now. You're welcome. Yeah.